All right, we're back. I like chapter eight, as you can tell. I'm getting pretty excited here. All right, number two. It says, for good X, the supply curve is the typical upward sloping straight line. The demand curve is the typical downward sloping straight line. A tax of $15 per unit is imposed on the good. The tax reduces equilibrium quantity in the market by 300 units. Question? The deadweight loss from the tax is. Now, they've given you nothing except some numbers, but they're telling you that you've got a downward sloping straight line demand curve. You've got an upward sloping straight line supply curve. I've drawn it for you right there. It's nice to get in the habit of drawing these things, so it helps you visualize the particular problem that you've got going here. Even though they've given us no information except for, as I'll get to it, two pieces of information. In the typical situation, we know when there's a tax on the suppliers, the supply curve shifts back, right? We also know the tax is $15. So we know this distance right here, as I've drawn it right here, is $15. They also tell us the equilibrium quantity. This is Q0 before the tax. This is Q1. Has fallen by 300 units. So we know this distance right here is 300 units, okay? So now they're asking you to compute the deadweight loss. It's not that hard once you've drawn the diagram because now you have to get this triangle right here and you have all the information you need. You know the base of the triangle is $15. You know the height of the triangle right here is 300 units. Therefore, we know the area of a triangle is equal to 1 half base times altitude. So therefore, I have the altitude. I have the base, so in this case, it's equal to one half times fifteen or three hundred dollars, three hundred units. Excuse me, so I won't confuse you. Three hundred units times fifteen dollars. Right? Here's the three hundred units. That's the, that's this distance right here. The difference between equilibrium quantity before the tax and after the tax. This is distance right here. Is the tax itself? It's fifteen dollars. So that's that distance right there. So now you've got 1 half 300 times 15, which is equal to 150 times $15. And 15 times 15 is $2,225. Okay, or 2,000, let me see, 15, 2,250, if I have this right. Okay, so that's what the deadweight loss is going to be. Let's look on the paper here. Do I have that number? Yes, there it is. It's answer B. But it's important that you get in the habit of drawing things because if you don't draw them, it's sometimes hard to visualize what numbers you should be multiplying by each other. And here you get a very clear sense of it. Once you knew the equilibrium quantity had fallen by 300, you know this distance right here. Once you know the size of the tax, you know this distance right here. It's obvious if you get the diagram down and move from there. Okay? So that's number two. I will now go to number three. More diagrams, more consumer producer surplus. I'll be back in a second.